as long as you pick it up your wells, you're going to keep generating your abilities. And as long as you generate your abilities, rinse and repeat. If you notice, just running through, using nothing but spam of abilities. If you need to heal, put down your shield. After you put down your shield, you get a kill because you're going to make more wells back to back to back. Use your grenade so you can make more wells. Use your shield so you can heal. Pick up your abilities on and on and on. You literally have about the same spam as the warlock to be honest you just rinse and repeat over and over spamming your abilities let me go get my well from up here from somewhere put my shield down to heal that way so i can pop another orb and on and on and on just rinse and repeat what is up guys prodigy here thank you very much for watching my video and in this one a lot of you guys have been requesting for my titan build this is my highest light for the people wondering we got to the highest of 1572 but again a lot of you guys have been coming to my stream i showed you guys a warlock build you guys are trying to see a titan build all my titan people want to see my titan build so i figured it out i went ahead and made a build myself this is kind of what it looks like right now i can go ahead and show you guys exactly to the t the mods the builds and everything but like i did with the warlock I'm going to go ahead and explain it first. So the most important thing about this build is Heart of Inmost Light. You def I think this is probably the best exotic right now for the Titan. I think it's definitely the best chest, the best, all, like it's just all above probably the best exotic right now for the Titan. And kind of what it does, it empowers each of your abilities. For the people that don't know, if you use your shield, it's going to make your melee and your grenade faster and recharge faster. If you use your grenades, it's going to make your melee and your shield stronger or recharge faster. Depending on what the abilities does, it's going to empower them, making them stronger and recharge faster. I don't know if your shield gets more health if it's empowered. That could be a thing. But again, if you use your melee, it charges the other two abilities. If you use your shield, it charges the two other abilities. If you use your grenade, it charges your two other abilities. And your three total abilities are your melee, your grenade, and your uh your class ability we're not talking about your super i don't think it's empowering your super i highly extremely doubt it but again once you understand how hard and most light works you can kind of start recharging your abilities on top of that we have the same thing that we did with the warlock we have a lot of well mods that help us improve our weapons mainly the void ones you really want to be using void this season void is meta boys if you haven't figured it out yet void is meta it's not even a gun it's not even a class it's not even like it's just void all across void weapons void shields void elements void like void is the way right now but uh again this is the setup that i'm going to be using for the raid similar to this and let's go ahead and kind of show this thing into action so i'm going to go ahead and throw away i guess my grenade and my shield and if you notice right now it says empowered it's empowering my other two abilities but i'm going to go ahead and use my shield look at my grenade how it starts to charge so this is just a quick example of what the exotic does on its own on its own it's not all that it definitely helps you out if you get kills and stuff it'll definitely help you out some more but that's kind of what it does if i use my melee now it's going to empower my two other but well, it seems like it just did not do that i just used my melee but it didn't empower my abilities it should definitely empower my abilities so i use my shield i guess there's a specific order of things I use my shield, it's empowering my grenade and my melee. Now I got my grenade, I should use my grenade and it should empower my other two abilities. Using my grenade causes me to make a well. When I pick up this well, this just makes me already you know really strong, makes things blow up and I also have the chance of making more wells when things explode with void. Um, so it's like a chain reaction all over again, just like the other character, you use your abilities, you use your you know your grenades your melees your stuff is going to generate uh i don't have me me melee will make it right now so it's not really making my uh um my uh my melees wells so i can go ahead and just quickly go to here and instead of having volatile i mean not volatile flow uh front of my i can put on melee well maker that way also my melees can make me wells. it just depends on what you want this build is not 100 percent set in stone you can switch it up depending on what activities you're doing but if i want to make more wells or if i want more damage it depends on what i want for the people that don't know font of might makes your weapons 25 percent stronger if you pick up a well so i think for the raid i'll be using font of might but for lower activities like this where i would want to see as many wells as possible so i can charge my abilities as quick as possible then i would want to put on melee well maker that way my grenades are making me wells that way my melees are making me wells and that way my class ability is making me wells i have multiple things that can make me wells including using void weapons 
um like it's a crazy build again i'll show you guys the mods to the t everything helps each other including picking up orbs i can generate orbs by using void weapons or getting multiple kills so right now for example if i get my this weapon right here which is void i have you see wells i have multiple like i have multiple kills it generates uh orbs as well and it generates wells so what happens i can use my abilities right now right dump them out but looks what happened when i pick up these orbs and wells look at my abilities just being boosted up on top of the fact that i'm being empowered so i'm just doing nothing Thing right now for a few seconds and i'm getting all my abilities back but again if i'm focusing on getting kills and making wells it's gonna be a lot faster i'm not even using my super it's a really really good build to be honest as long as you're getting kills now i got a melee kill but it seems like it didn't do a melee well it's kind of weird sometimes it's kind of off i get a grenade kill it didn't make a well and then again, if I want to charge my abilities, my, my abilities are lacking. I use my shield. I want to use my shield due to the fact that it heals me and it also gives me a shield. Not only that, it also makes my, my weapons reload a lot faster. So using the shield is also a good thing. Not only it's good protection, it's good heal, but it's also recharging your abilities. And remember, after you use your shield, it's going to make a well. And again, picking up those well, it's a whole chain reaction. You're kind of understanding it. You kind of get in the flow of the thing um but again i'll be showing right now the full build that way you guys can copy it to the t but i really want you guys to understand how the build works that we're using it to its best ability so right now again i put my shield it's gonna heal me it's gonna make my reload faster it's gonna you know it's just gonna just all across help me out and then whenever i get a kill it's gonna make a well and then whenever i can make a grenade uh or i don't have my grenade yet i'll use my melee it's gonna make a well so now i can pick this up pick this one up it's gonna make my weapon stronger it's gonna give back my abilities I'm going to use my grenade again I can use my shield i can get my heal back i can start getting kills with explosion it's going to give me my wells and rinse and repeat similar to the warlock if you haven't seen the warlock build it'll be linked in the description but just like the warlock you literally have a spam chain of abilities over and over and it makes you super duper strong and i'm not in a strike i'm not in any area where it boosts up my recharge ability or anything this is just normal open world and you can tell that my abilities are coming back just just like this just consistently back to back to back they're also stronger remember my grenades are empowered when i use my my abilities they empower each other making each other stronger so now my melee is stronger my grenades are stronger i'm not sure about the shield i'm really not sure about the shield if it gains more health but i would believe so i don't see why not so if you notice just constantly healing constantly regenerating abilities constantly picking up wells constantly it's just I love this season, man. I called it in my first video that I made this season. This is the strongest we have ever been. It feels amazing. It feels really good. But now to kind of get into the detail of like the mods and stuff, you guys can copy it to the T. Let me go ahead and get out of here. That way you guys can see mod by mod, build by build, build by build. That way you guys know how everything is working with each other. So I guess this is for the people that want to see the, the thing build by build starting off with the helmet we have <clears throat> this is depending on what weapons you use supposedly it's going to help but i have this mod on i have artifice gear which allows me to put an extra artifact mod on and i also have reaping well maker which allows me to make a well after i use my class ability i have it so void rapid weapon final blows so it doesn't matter if it's my heavy or it's if it's my uh my smg it's going to generate orbs because they're both void and i also have it so rapid final blows with this uh with weapons that match your class ability also going to make orbs so now i'm getting like double orbs i'm getting orbs because my weapons are void and i'm also getting orbs because my weapons are matching my subclass and i already told you guys picking up orbs help you recharge your ability as well so if you go down to like my class ability and stuff or my boots i think it is when i pick up orbs i have it so i recharge all of my abilities i'm kind of in the way over here so kind of like let me go ahead and move out to the other side that should help a little bit so again i'll go back in order but just kind of so you can understand everything is helping each other um we got the helmet out the way we're going to go ahead and go to the arms arms. I have volatile flow that way. Whenever I pick up a well, it makes my weapon supposedly 25% stronger, but I don't know. I know there's a scale to volatile flow. I've seen times one times two times three. So I don't know if you have to get it to the max to get to 25 or just the second that you pick up one, you get 25, but either way, volatile flow, reloading submachine gun, 
Um, whenever I do damage with my grenades, I get back my class ability. And you already know my class ability is healing me. So that's why I also didn't go for 100 recovery. I actually went for 100 resilience for like for the first time ever. And the reason why is having my resilience is going to cool down my class ability. And my class ability is the one that's going to heal me. It's going to give me shield. I'm going to give you guys so much information. So I hope you guys are listening, writing down stuff. Make sure you drop a like in the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys want anything more. Um, but again, going for re resilience due to the fact that it's going to bring back my class ability and my class ability is the one that's going to heal me. Um, so again, that's why I have it that. So grenades give me back my class ability. I also have extra space here to put extra mods. Uh, the next thing is the chest, the chest piece. I have it. So it's like double, um, resist depending on what activity I'm doing. If I want void, I think you don't have void chest piece due to the fact that the hive are doing void. I don't know exactly what enemies we're going to fight in the raid, but again, if you want void resist make sure your chest is on void and you also have the double other resist which is solar and arc from the artifact itself um i also have a chest piece sitting here that's artifice in case i feel like i'm taking too much damage from whatever activity i'm doing i have triple defense i have you know double arc double solar and i can switch this one well, i can actually have to i have to leave this one here and then switch one of these to void it depends what i want like if i want 30 percent reduction from arc and solar i put this one and if i want a little bit like 45 i think 45 percent reduction then i put on both of these or if i want the complete opposite i want you know more more resist to all these elements then supposedly they stack they normally do stack but you have diminishing returns so i don't know how much you're gonna get with a total of three but this armor is sitting on the side just in case i feel like i need you know i'm dying too much i'm taking too much damage but i'm gonna lose i'm gonna lose the rechargeability of my abilities um moving on to the boots we have it set up so i can get uh scavenger for rockets so i also have artifice boots so i can put on an extra artifact mod over here instead of putting it over here and saving these spots so i can pick up uh abilities for my orbs since i'm going to be generating a lot of orbs from you know getting multiple kills from using void guns this is going to help up uh, recharge my abilities and the final item, which is also artifice, man, artifice is the way right now. Um, I have it kind of filled up, so I can't even use this spot, but depending on things, I can move it around. For example, if I want to remove this and I put on artifice uh, mod all the way over here, I can, but I have it set up right now for kind of lower level content, which is reduces all, uh, all ability cooldowns when using your class ability. So since I'm getting my class ability all the time because it comes down so uh, it comes back so quickly, I'm going to also use it to bring back all my abilities quickly. So this kind of is the Titan build. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please be sure to drop a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.